Hey guys! We are on the Rio Chagres River now and we are waiting for the transit through the Panama Canal. And this is where we are now. after the weekend, the adventurer came onto the boat. He was checking for all kinds of things. He was making sure that our engines are okay, that we had a holding tank. He was measuring the boat, obviously. And he told us that we need a horn. We didn't have a horn, so we installed that. He told us that we had to have this and this and this. If we didn't have that, then we weren't allowed to go. He measured, we got approved for payment. So that's the next thing you do. We're gonna go into town and pay our pay our canal fee. Look at this. Look at all this bread. <laughs> cheddar. Cheddar? Yeah, people call it cheddar. I like English. cheddar. In order to, to pay the bank, you have to actually go to one bank in Cologne, and it's in like the shadiest part in town. So we went over to the anchorage in front of Club Nautico, anchored the boat, Kimmy dropped me off on the beach. I climbed over the construction zone oh and walked down the street, hailed a cab, went to the bank. We needed $2,000 cash. It was $1,875. So we couldn't get the cash in one day. So what we had to do was go there twice. The day that I was paying in cash, I was walking around with two grand cash in one of the most dangerous cities in Panama. Walk down the street, catch a cab, the cab takes you to the bank. And then he, and you can get cash, and then he takes you to the other bank where you can't get cash, but you have to pay for the canal. The bank sends that receipt to the ad measurer's office for you, and as soon as they receive the 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 payment, then you can book your date. But you just have to keep calling back until they say, okay, we've got your payment. Now we can book your your canal date. Yeah, they won't call you because if if you pay it and you don't call them. The money is gone. You need to make sure they give you the date and you need to make sure to be there in time. The schedule is its all after the big boats. You just are going to be pushed into the gaps between the big boats, so they're not gonna wait for you. So of the $1,875, it included an $891 retainer that was reimbursable to us after two weeks, as long as we didn't hit anything, damage the boat, we weren't late, we didn't, take too too long to get through one of our engines broke down and we couldn't keep up with the rest of the boats oh we were so scared we were so nervous yeah, about that we did that. not have that money yeah now that did not include the fenders and the lines that we rented so that brings us to the next topic gear you need to have 10 fenders so most people don't have that you can rent it from tito his number will be in the description as well as everything else um he'll bring you tires wrapped in plastic they'll leave tire marks on your boat but at least you don't have to buy the fenders right also floating line like some ridiculous amount very long so you probably won't have that he will um he will rent them to you. He will rent them to you. We actually found a few tires and a fender on the beach that, that we were always beaching Jamie, so um, we kept the cost low at that point as well. Also, if you'd like, Tito can arrange a water taxi for you if you need that. So if you're in the flats and you need to get to land, you need to pay, you need to go, to go to the store, he can arrange that, but it's very expensive. I think he charges like 50 bucks. The lines were $80 to rent. The tires were $6 a piece, of which we needed five. So if you take the 984 plus 80, that's 1,064 plus 30, that is $1,094. And that's what we spent on the canal, period. Unless you count the meatballs that we served the, 
the transit oh. authority guys. Yeah. So if your boat is less than 50 feet, this is the absolute le least amount of money you can pay to get through the canal, $1,094. The other thing you need, and that's interesting for people that don't have boats, is that every cruising sailboat needs to have a captain plus one, two, three, four crew members called line handlers. So if you want to experience the canal without having your own boat in there, you can just go to this website. It's called panlinehandler.com. And that's where we actually found one of our crew skills needed to go through the Panama Canal. You have to be able to drive your boat and you have to be able to coordinate. They might be tying you up with another sailboat or even two other sailboats. So you, you have to be able to be very patient with two more captains and three advisors that all kind of, you know, are yelling at each other, yelling at each other. It was a shit show for us. It was, but it was part you know, partly our fault, I would, I would say the so. The first day was horrible. All kidding aside, what you need to do is just being able to tie some fenders off and being able to pull a light, line in, pull it out and lock it. That's it. From one moment to the other, the, the water in the... In the what? Locks. The water in the locks rises or it drops down really fast and as soon as your line is too tight or too loose, somebody's going to be in trouble. So really, watch that line. And as a captain, make sure, make sure that you go over proper cleating techniques with your crew. Overall, it was an awesome experience. It was one of my bucket list items in my life. I really wanted to go through the Panama Canal on my own boat. Uh, it was very stressful, very for me. And I, I wish I would have gone through on somebody else's boat first. I yeah. wish we had enough time where somebody needed our help and we were able to help them and we could see how it was done. That way it wouldn't have been so stressful. All this. All this preparation and weeks and weeks of trying and money and all this crap had finally come to an end and when we were going through the last locks everybody was just like euphoric. It's one of the eight wonders of the world. Is not, it really? I'm not sure about that. But it's well, one of the eight wonders of my world. <laughs> so yeah, if you ever have the chance, go on somebody else's boat because I bet it's a nice experience. But for us it was super stressful. Even though it's not even my boat, but it was... It was really stressful, it was so stressful. but it was totally worth it. So today James paid for the canal so that we could make an appointment finally for the Pacific. But while uh, grocery shopping, the folder with all the paperwork it was including all our press cards. So here we are sitting still at the Panama Canal without any papers and with 2,000 bucks less exactly. So James took the dinghy in a hurry and left. He left over there around the dock, which is probably not allowed, without a headlight and a sunscreen on. So yeah, we're really hoping he's coming back and we're really hoping he's bringing all the paperwork with him. Yeah, maybe we have lost it in the supermarket, we hope so. Because if we have lost it in a cab, we're... Yeah. So our plan now, our strategy is to make dinner, that in case he's coming back with empty hands, at least stomach and he's not gonna be upset. <laughs> uh, well, yeah. yeah, I hope he will come back alive and the best case would be he's coming with a folder too. Got it? Yeah, I got it. Where was it? Oh my god! So, you remember they told us Kai 6 we could go? Yeah. You can't. But, I was like, well, I'm not gonna go all the way around, I'll just go here and take a cab. So I, I, Park the dinghy and the dog's like way up here, so I'm like grabbing it and holding myself up. And there's like dogs looking at me. I'm like, oh shit. And the, the guy I just happened to be there, he's like, hey, hey, hey. And so he's like, hey, what are you trying to do? Go to the veterinarian? <laughs> so he, I, I told him what was going on. He's like, you're, you'll be really lucky to get that back, but I'll give you a ride. So he gave me a ride to the supermarket, the wrong fucking supermarket, too. So I had to get a cat taxi to another supermarket to go in there and like ask for
So we're down to the main only, but we're still we're still going. Like what? Six knots? Seven knots?